Welcome to County Office, your complete guide to local government services and public records. Let's start learning. How to become a forensic medical examiner. The world of forensic medical examining, where science meets Sherlock Holmes. It's not for the faint-hearted, but if you've got the stomach for it, let's dive in. First, you need to earn a bachelor's degree. Typically, students pursue a degree in a science-related field like biology or chemistry, but you're not boxed in. As long as you have the necessary prerequisites for medical school, you're good to go. Next, it's on to medical school, a four-year commitment that will test your mettle and your love for caffeine. You'll earn your Doctor of Medicine, MD, or Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine, DO degree, and gain a wealth of knowledge on the human body. But we're not done yet. After medical school, you'll need to complete a residency program in pathology, which typically takes three, four years. Here, you'll get hands-on experience in diagnosing diseases through laboratory tests and microscopic examination. Just when you thought you were done with school, there's more. A one, two-year fellowship in forensic pathology is next. This is where you'll learn the ins and outs of death investigations, autopsies, and court testimonies. Finally, you'll need to pass the Forensic Pathology Board Certification Exam to become a certified forensic pathologist. Then, it's time to don your lab coat and start your exciting career in forensic medical examining. Take a look at the links in the description below to learn more. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, leave a comment. We're here to help. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. We'll see you in our next video.